Hello friends, you are welcome again. Alright, so we are continuing our series on electrical drawing. In the previous videos, we learned about electrical symbols, single line diagrams, and schematic diagrams. In this video, we are going to look at how to draw a wiring diagram from a given plan or a given layout diagram. Correct. So as you can see on the screen, we have a layout diagram. By now, you should be able to identify this symbol, this symbol, and then this symbol. The lines represent electrical wires or the routes that the electrical wires take to the various components in the wiring. Good. If you are late, you have to go back to the previous episodes to look at what these symbols mean because without understanding the symbols you will not be able to read or interpret an electrical drawing good so here we only have lines and we have symbols but in the wiring drawing the wiring drawing actually focuses on the physical layout of the wiring and how every part and every component in the wiring is connected it connects several wires from and to every terminal of every component in the wiring. What happens with the wiring diagram is that we are going to position all the components exactly where they are supposed to be or exactly where they are on the layout. So actually, this will guide us to do our wiring drawing. With the wiring diagram, we are going to make sure that all the components are positioned at their correct places and then we are going to route the various wires from and to every component just as it is here on the layout diagram and so if we are doing any connection between this switch and this one we are not just interested in showing how it is connected but we are also careful to make sure that if there is a distance from the switch to this conduit or to this trunking, we make sure that we route the cables through that route just as it is shown in the layout. Because this layout is telling us that there is a wiring and in that wiring we have a switch here and then we have either a trunking or a pipe that raises to a certain height and then it goes again, comes down to the switch, and then from the switch it goes up to a lamp. So in the wiring diagram, we are going to show exactly what we are seeing here, and then how to connect the various components from their various positions that they are to the other components. First of all, we start with the identification of the symbols that we'll be using in the wiring drawing. All right, so first of all, we start by looking at the various ways that we are representing the various components in the wiring. Good. All right, so earlier we discussed electrical symbols, but those symbols we discussed in the earlier video are used in drawing the plan or the layout diagram or the single line diagrams. Here, we'll be representing the accessories and the components differently. For instance, in the plan or the layout diagram, we used a single symbol to represent the consumer unit. But in the wiring drawing, where we have to show details of how everything is connected, you realize that we have a combination of symbols and other drawings to make up the consumer unit. For instance, we have the symbol of a circuit breaker here. Then we also have the symbol of a two-pole breaker here. All right. So here, the lamp symbol remains the same, but the symbol we used for two-way switch has changed here because here we have to show the various terminals in the two-way switch. And then it is those terminals that will connect the various wires to. Okay, so this is a two-way switch. 
and we use this symbol when we are doing the wiring drawing all right and so as we move on i'll be explaining to you how each component is represented when we are doing the wiring drawing so for instance this will represent our consumer unit and if you look here in the consumer unit we have a two pole switch or a double pole switch where you have an incoming live connection an incoming neutral connection the output of the neutral connection is connected to a neutral bar so this one will serve as our neutral terminal bar and then we also have the output of the live connection that is connected to a bus bar or a bar that we we can call live bar on which the breakers are mounted then we also have another terminal bar here which will serve as our earth terminal bar okay then from there our lamps remains the same if you had watched the earlier videos you'll be familiar with this symbol this is a symbol for a lamp and then now we are using this symbol for a two-way switch and then we also have a symbol here that we are familiar with and this represents our earth electrode that will be connecting to the earth terminal in the consumer unit all right so let's look at how to interconnect these symbols to make a wiring diagram for two lamps that are controlled together from two different switching positions or from two different locations all right so let's have a look at how the wiring diagram for the layout that is given would look like okay so this is how the wiring diagram is going to look like and uh, this is self-explanatory and so i'm not going to talk much around the wiring diagram because as you can see um this is a two-way switch this is another two-way switch and then we are interconnecting these switches to control these two lamps but then because we are doing a wiring diagram for real wiring we have to show how the wires are rooted in the wiring so we had to strictly follow the layout diagram to prepare the wiring diagram all right so now this is how the wiring is done we have to take a live connection from the breaker in the consumer unit and then it first comes to the common terminal of the two-way switch this is the common terminal of the two-way switch usually labeled com and then the other two terminals are labeled l1 and l2 in the other switch also there is a common terminal and there is l1 and l2 in a switch where you don't see common you would probably see l in place of common and then l1 l2 okay so it's the same switch we are using here so whatever is here is the same thing that is also here so one connection is taken from a breaker in the consumer unit and then it's connected to the common terminal of one of the two-way switches now the common terminal of the other switch goes to the lamp directly and here because we are using two lamps we take a loop from here to one terminal of the other lamp now we have to run two other wires to connect the L1 here and the L1 here then the L2 here and the L2 here after that then we take a neutral from the neutral bar or the neutral terminal bar to one terminal of the lamp and because the lamps are two just as we loop the live from here to here we are also taking a loop from here all the way to the second lamp so as you can see interpreting a wiring diagram is very very simple because you are seeing everything these two wires are our main wires from the electricity supply so we have live connecting to this input and then we have neutral connecting to this input the output here is connected to the neutral terminal bar 
and then the output here is connected to the live bar which also connects to the brackets all right so you see this is very simple to understand if you are a beginner and um, you don't need much knowledge in electrical engineering to be able to read and understand this but it is not usual to have a detailed wiring drawing, especially for an electrical project. You usually find the drawing as a plan or a layout. And there are different levels of details shown on these plans. And depending on the details of the plan, you need a certain level of expertise or understanding to be able to read and understand the plan. And so, for instance, if you look at this plan, you see that you are given the layout, you are given the distance between the various components, so you know where and how you are going to place your accessories and components in the wiring, okay? So this is a good plan that you can use to do your wiring, but then the level of understanding, the level of expertise that is required to understand and do wiring with this plan is different from the level of expertise you require to read and understand another plan. So, for instance, this plan will require someone with um, a little knowledge, a little higher knowledge of electrical engineering to be able to understand and then do this wiring properly, okay? So I said at a part of the video that normally you will not have a wiring diagram. We have electrical layout diagrams like this and not the detailed wiring drawing. And so the ability to read and understand a plan that is done in this form is very important. Before we move to another thing, um, in the next video, I'll bring several electrical plants like this, and then I will explain how to read and make the correct meaning from the plan that you are seeing. So in the next video, I'll bring up different types of electrical plants and then explain how to read and understand those plants. Stay tuned, and in case you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I will urge you to do so, so we learn together. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next video.